Is artificial intelligence or AI changing the landscape for different IT opportunities? So in this video, we will discuss which IT jobs are most impacted by AI. Now, speaking of positions, we've already talked about most affected IT role by AI in networking and cybersecurity. Now, we will focus on servers and applications. There are various server-related and application-related roles. They're not all the same. Yes, they may overlap, and then again, there are various specializations and roles. So, I will ask my friend, ChatGPT, which roles are the most affected by AI. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like Nice Video Dean from Guyana, Togo, Latvia. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Gothenburg, Jeddah, Memphis, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. I'm here now in a web browser that I don't normally use. I'm not even logged in so that ChatGPT won't understand any past discussions and past conversations. So let's begin. The first thing that I will do is I'm going to click this link. Stay logged out. And I will ask ChatGPT what are the most affected server and storage role by AI. So this, this is an incorrect spelling, but it will correct it anyway. Uh, I will ask, rate it one to five star. And here are the roles. I'm, I will just copy paste. I already have here. So we have a, a system administrator, the more generic, an engineer or an admin or position that manage uh, most of these are servers sometimes it includes storage and backup and dr as well devops engineer so we're gonna uh specify on-prem actually i will add here on-prem all of these are on-prem non-cloud related so the virtualization administrator uh, this includes uh vmware hyper-v uh even uh, even other virtualization technologies. Uh, backup and DR administrator, these are non cloud, and there are many uh, backup and DR solutions out there NetApp, EMC, uh, Pure Storage, etc. We also have Linux server engineers, so not all system administrators, excuse me, not all, all server or system administrators focus on all operating system. Some admin are just focused on Linux, some admin focus on Microsoft only. Okay, we also have data center technician and uh, I will also add a storage engineer. So this storage engineer focuses on managing storage array and uh, storage networking such as FC or FCOE, etc. So we have like eight uh, roles under servers and storage. This should be on-prem. Okay, and this should be, I'll just corrected storage I'm gonna click this button now and uh, okay let's see what will uh, chat GPT will score so system administrator is score four okay uh, uh, five is the highest impacted uh, system administrator for AI is heavily automating routine system maintenance DevOps engineer moderate impacted and we all know DevOps, um, it's more of automation. There are more advanced DevOps where we, we don't only automate the CI CD pipelines, but it's now assisted by AI. Virtualization administrator for um, highly impacted. What else? Backup and DR, non cloud AIs, optimized backup scheduling failure, and even automated failover. So this is also uh, highly impacted. Uh, Linux server engineer. Oh, surprisingly, Linux is foundation in many AI workloads, and uh, um, it's very low. It, it scored two out of five. Okay, not as heavily disrupted. Microsoft engineer scored three. Data center technician. So this is expected. If you say technician, you also manage hardware. So you're the one who carries all of those servers. What else? Uh, rack and stack. Uh, it may also include uh, cabling for some server engineers. What else? Data center operations such as power cooling. 
failure prediction, and many more. So long-term robotics may have impact here, but in this era, no. Robo robots are too expensive, okay? Uh, storage engineer that focuses on uh, storage array and networking. AI-based tier capacity forecasting and self-healing storage system are becoming the norm in enterprise. So it's score four. So here's the summary. So the most impacted are uh, the generic system administrator, virtualization, backup and DR, uh, storage engineer, and um, yeah, there's uh, I there's no role that scored one. Okay, I I guess um, this is for AI related server position. Okay, but uh, here's the thing: if you are focusing on, on Linux, still safe. You see that Linux server engineer, it's not as impacted as the others. All right, let's now move to the next role. These are uh, programmer related roles. So I will ask uh, most affected programmer role by AI. Rate one to five star. Okay, I don't have much knowledge when it comes to programming role. Okay, so I have uh, uh, probably eight or seven well, actually eight as well. So we have software QA testers, um, developers, we have front end, um, back end, full stack, mainframe developers. It's not yet obsolete, guys. So I included it. Uh, DevOps engineer. So the DevOps engineer I added here are more for automation. Okay, uh, what else? Software and software architect, mobile application developer. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I still need to add uh, uh, some legacy uh, programming uh, but uh, for now this is what we have I'm gonna click this button now all right here's the breakdown um, yeah this is expected one star is low impact five star is very highly impacted so for software QA tester Wow we scored five okay and uh, I really believe this is uh, probably the least promising software related position software QA tester because there are more automation and I will not be surprised if there are more AI power testing automation tools uh, today okay what more in the next couple of years okay front-end developer we have four back-end developer we have three full-stack developer four I didn't expect this. I, I I was expecting if you have full stack uh, developer skills, um, you will be focusing on many things and uh, it is very or unlikely to be impacted by AI. Um, anyway, full stack developer, I don't really agree because when you say full stack developer, this may also cover AI related programming okay, and application development. Here's what's interesting, mainframe development. AI has low impact here, mostly due to legacy systems. Cobalt and industry inertia. Uh, there's a very little AI tooling for mainframe. So like what I mentioned, mainframe developers is not yet obsolete. Okay, as a matter of fact, there are still some banking or financial company that requires uh, mainframe developer positions. Okay, what else do we have here? DevOps automation engineer, really? We have four because of the AI enhanced AI CD pipeline. Software architect, AI can assist with design suggestions or code analysis, but true architecture designs requires a human task. Okay, how about mobile application developer also affected highly by AI? Um, all right, so here's a summary. Now, this is the most interesting part. If you're a mainframe developer and we've been, and you've been working for 20 or 30 plus years, you're still safe. Okay, software architect, if you are in the level of architecting uh, software, maybe not only software, but also DevOps, you will be uh, not replaced. It's very hard for you to be replaced by AI and many sorts of automation. But <laughs> I didn't expect that there are many roles, developer roles, with a scores of four here. We have front end, full stack, uh, automation engineer, uh, mobile application developer, 
Okay, and uh, we only have like, we only have one backend developer with a score of three. Um, but yeah. Some of you probably ask, where is cloud? Where is AI related roles? Well, I didn't add AI server administrators or AI developers because it's obvious that AI focused jobs are the real deal right now. We will talk about AI related careers, not just for servers and applications, but also for network and cybersecurity in the next video.